Hey, Far Sky fans, this is Steve. I'm with Free Sky North America. Yeah, yes, it is pronounced Free Sky. And we are going to talk about ethos. And I want to show you some practical examples. I'll show you how I would show somebody how to get the gist of this. This is going to be fairly fast. The reason why is because I want to show you just an overview and there's a lot of videos out there that cover each of these topics in more detail um, we have a list of them and you can message me to get the list but in the meantime I wanted to talk about the model menus so the model menu is you can get it from either pressing this or this you can see that there's eight tiles on this screen on the next page there's seven more tiles so we've got a total of 15 tiles and uh, we're going to set up an airplane we're going to set up a thunderbolt um, i'm going to go into the jet directory and uh, the way i can make the directory is by hitting this plus icon given the name jet saying okay and it's there the bigger one right here is for going into the model wizard and we're going to create an airplane and this is pretty much point and shoot the thunderbolt i'm imagining it's electric it has two motors and it has two ailerons but i'm going to screw up right here and said it has four flaps and it doesn't and i'm also going to say that it has two elevators okay so I've done a lot of things wrong already. I'm going to continue this by giving it a horrible name and selecting the wrong photo. So what I have is something with a weird name and it's a flying wing. It's a uh, AR900 uh, right there we're looking at. It's Sonic model plane. Um, but if we go into the mixer, you can see that, well, we've got most of this set up and we have to fix a couple things and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take and show you something briefly not explaining a lot about it i'm just going to set a curve right here and i'm going to give it a few percentage points so if we get out of it and if you long press on it get back in it you can see that we have expo at seven percent now what i'm going to do is I'm going to go into the edit model and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it the Thunderbolt a proper name okay and we're going to select the right image you can get to it from the top which is makes it easy there we go I and if we get out of this you'll see that the thunderbolt if you go to the home screen you'll see that it says thunderbolt and it has the right everything let's go back into that menu this time i want to go in here and i want to fix the four flaps and say that there are two channels and flaps and then it will not save those changes until i say reset all mixers but there's a danger in using that i'm about to show you what the danger is we go into the mixer and you can see now it's back to two flaps but remember we set an aileron i did some changes well they're all gone so that is the danger of playing with these things that reset all mixer after the fact i'll show you a better way to do it um in the meantime we're going to go in here and i'm going to set expo sometimes people just like to have maybe a 30 percent expo so if you want to do a general expo that's on all the time that's how you do it and if you want to set dual rates we go down here and I'm gonna add a couple values maybe I'll make 185 and the other one is gonna be 70 so as I'm doing this I need to set it on a switch I'm gonna put it on switch B so I'm gonna use switch B up and switch B down and so I hit control B and I'm going to use the switch B up right there and this one's going to be switch B down okay hit return so now we have dual rate set up and we have expo and there's videos that explain this in better detail but that's how we do it now I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, fix this right here 
uh, that we do not need two elevators. We need one, and I don't want to miss anything along the way. I don't want to screw up whatever already, or delete whatever I have going. So what I do is long press on it, and um, the things you work on the most are going to be at the top of this menu, and the things you work on the least are at the bottom. So it's as simple as changing this from two to one, and I, all I have to do is hit return, and if you go out, you'll see that, oh, we're now down to one elevator, but are my ailerons still there? Yep, still there. So that's a smarter way of doing it. You can set up uh, rates and expo on any of these control surfaces. <coughs> Excuse me. If you need to set up a throttle cut, it is right here. You just select a switch. Maybe I put it on switch H down. All right, that's fixed. And uh, what I'm looking at now is my flaps aren't working, and I got to put that on something. So maybe I'll put this on switch <coughs> um, switch C. So all I do is click in there, go to input, and I just hit switch C, and all of a sudden my flaps are working. Well, the last thing I want to do is set up landing gear. And the way to do that is to hit this little plus icon in the corner. A lot of really cool cam mixes. I wish I could discuss all of them in great detail right now. But for brevity's sake, we're just going to go into the free mix. We can put it in the last position. The source is going to be uh, on a... I'm going to use a switch. Maybe... I can keep track. Maybe switch F is the switch we're going to use. And I want to give it a name. So I hit the page up, page down. I'm going to call this gear. And then I just got to create a channel. And the channel is down here. Uh, output. I'm going to use a free channel. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's say it's on channel 10. It will ask me if I want to name it. Yep, there's your gear channel. And there you are. You have a real nice basic setup, but we're not bound yet. So we'll get out of here, and we'll go into the RF system next. Uh, there's internal modules and external modules. External modules are things that hang on the back of the radio. Here's a little list of ones that are available from FreeSky. Um, but we don't normally work with those. We work with internal modules and work with the internal antennas. First thing we do is turn the state on. I'm imagining we're working with the TDMX. If I look at this on registration ID, when you get the radio new, you can change this. But as soon as you register your first receiver, you need to stick with it. Um, so what registration does is essentially brands this onto your receiver, almost like branding cattle. It doesn't quite do it that way, but theoretically it does. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and register a receiver. So you hold the bind button in and you have power on the receiver. And then you wait for it. The radio will come up with this. It says registration ID. The receiver name is Archer, even though it's not an Archer. Um, it, it will most likely say TDMX in your case, if it was a TDMX. And then... We're done with that, and then you register absolutely once, and then you combine as many times as you want. So when I hit the bind button, all I have to do is plug the receiver in and wait for it to bind, and I'll select one of the receivers, and because there's two on the plane, and then I hit return, and you can see that uh, essentially everything is bound, and when I start moving the sticks, things move, and let's imagine that your uh, left aileron is going the wrong direction. So what we want to do is go to outputs and the left aileron is going to be on channel five or channel one, I should say. And all I do is hit invert and that fixes it. Now the right aileron is a little too high up and I want to get it down a little bit lower. So I go in here and go to the sub trims and I move it down a little bit. Okay, now it's lined up. I can eyeball it, it looks good. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to turn on telemetry. So I go into the telemetry screen, turn this on. Everything that has a sensor on it, uh, 
will turn on. And then uh, the question is, what has sensors in it? And I just hit return to get out of it, and now it, all the sensors are working. Um, what we can do is go to device config, and these are mostly a lot of the things that have sensors built into them. We have airspeed sensors, current sensors. We even have these aspects you can put on your plane um, better than the UBEC usually comes with it. Gas suite, we have a new one coming out. It's supposed to be even better than the old one. It will work with FBUS, GPS, LiPo voltage, the RB30 and the RB40. I, we also have the RB25. Uh, they're actually the RB25, 25S, RB30, and 35S. We have an RPM. Um, these SXRs are for stabilized receivers and Ethos 1.5. This is going to be vastly improved. Variometers, exact servos, pressure sensors, and temperature sensors. So there's a lot of really neat things you can add onto your plane and get a, a bunch of telemetry. And with that, we have a very comprehensive... Uh, overview very quick this is in no way is completely set up but at least you got a good overview of how we go about setting up a plane and if you have questions the best thing to do is actually ask the questions in our fr sky ethos uh facebook group and we look forward to hearing from you there thanks for watching